God, I was on all those shows. I, I play the cop on all those shows. <laughs> Usually cop number one, sometimes cop number two. Um, I don't know all the rules of, uh, of show business, but I'm pretty sure one of them is if you're going to speak in public, make sure you follow a professional comedian. <laughs> And I guess it's only fitting that Ray does something first, and then I do it. <laughs> actually, I hope that trend continues. He's a talented man. Um, I actually wrote, see? I wrote a paper, but I'm not I'm gonna, primarily because I, I didn't eat breakfast, I'm gonna skip the I'm low on blood sugar. I'm gonna cut to the meat of it. So when, when, when Patty um, got the middle, decided on doing one more show that will surely secure her a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh, she had a little more power than previously in her career, so she could make some decisions for herself. And I was told that among those decisions she made was who would play her husband. It's completely in her hands. And imagine how honored, flattered, thrilled I was to be that final piece of the puzzle. That, that is true, that you decided to cast me? No, but that is that was a trap, because that's not true. It's not true at all, because I happened to find a, a list in Patty's handwriting titled, Who I Would Like to Play My Husband on the Middle, by Patty Heaton. And I tell you, well, it starts, not, not surprisingly, it starts uh, Ray Romano, Brad Garrett, Doris Roberts. That's, then it goes on, uh, Randy Quaid, Dolph Lundgren, Shia LaBeouf, I thought that was, he was, he was hot that summer, I guess. And I, I have to admit, I'm looking for my name, thinking I must have come up here somewhere. Uh, but then the list takes an odd turn. Uh, you have Abe Lincoln, Paul Bunyan, Lady Chewbacca. Thank you. But then finally, at the bottom of the list, it says, Garbage Man from Scrub. Which I took to mean the janitor from Scrubs which I take to mean me, and that is enough for me. I'm not, I'm not upset that I was at the bottom of the list. I'm glad I made the list. I got lucky. That's all it is in Hollywood. It's not being the first choice. It's just getting in that door. And um, you know, I'm lucky that these people either turned down the road or, or were long since dead or never really existed. <laughs> Chewbacca was uh, unavailable. He was doing dinner theater in the Midwest. I'm not sure what he was doing, but uh, the point is, uh, he said, switching to sincerity, uh, I did get very, very lucky, and I can't imagine the lead actress in a series who's had as much success as Patty has had being more um, positive, uh, fun, grounded, and grateful for the position she's in. And um, it helps keep me that way, too. I admire you very much. You're my favorite scene partner ever. Yeah. And um, I'm glad to be a friend and glad to be part of this day with you and give it such a well-deserved recognition.